Hey everyone, my name is Kaikoon6 and I'm here to do a video of my shopping finds that I found last week. As I said in previous videos before, or if you, this is the first time you watching this video, hello. I, um, I at least go shopping with my mother-in-law at least once a week and it's usually on Thursdays. And um, during these shopping trips that I do with her, I, um, you know, I find some stuff that I'm going to be doing like, you know, future craft projects on. And then she does the same thing since we're both crafters. And so we always like to go to these stores like uh, Dollar Tree, Five Below, um, uh, you know, like the 99 cent store, you know, e examples like that, just to see what they have in the stores for that week. And then hopefully we'll find, you know, kind of like, inspiration to to a lot of craft projects we will be doing in the near future you know and for sure i'll be doing some future craft projects with you guys uh all i need to do is just find a way how to set up a really good timing for it and then probably the right camera angle who knows but i just wanted to show you guys like what what i got from this shopping trip that i had last week and um during last week there was like a couple days where my husband and i actually headed into town um, that was like, you know, 30 minutes away from where we live just to go see, you know, just to go browse around basically and then look around like where, what, uh, what we can find for like late Christmas gifts for people, especially for my family because like, um, it's because of the weather here has been really impossible like right now it is cold like I am really really cold and like I usually don't function when it comes to the cold and so I I decided you know what that day was perfect to just go out and just go get Christmas gifts and then hopefully we'll send them off one day and then do that so I just thought well I'm just gonna go share something with you guys and um and during these trips we did we're, we were supposed to go to Five Below but they were closed uh like like really like we headed there early in the morning and it was closed so we had like 30 minutes to spare and we were like you know what what can we do in these 30 minutes and the in the corner of my eye uh just down the you know the little um like the little shopping center that's right there on uh, five below in rockwall there is um um home goods sorry i was trying to remember the name of the store but it's a home goods and i knew they were already open and so i was like you know what let's head inside my husband did not want to go inside but he he was like all right fine we'll just go and so we headed inside we had a we had a blast we were looking at so many home decor stuff and and i was like i want to go get some home decor here and hopefully i'll find some that aren't sell because as as you many people you know home goods is very expensive when it comes to home decor like i found like this like elephant piece that i thought it would be perfect for like a little bit of you know what i have going on here in my home decor i'm a little bit of everything you know and so um it seemed a little bit expensive for me so i just thought you know what i'll probably have to head over to the sister stores in the near future just to see what i can show you guys and then what i can put in my home and so uh, we ended up getting uh, some gifts for, you know, for his mom and because her birthday's coming up also. And so we thought, okay, let's go f get these gifts for her ready and then um, we'll just give it to her, her birthday when it when it comes up, which is next month. And so I was like, you know what? We might as well. And so I wanted to show you guys. Um, first things first, it was this, uh, this four piece collection or four piece of uh, uh, bee coasters um she's been into bees lately uh, i don't know how that happened but she was really heavily into bees and so i thought well this will be perfect for her and, and also because like uh, my husband and i we do go visit her home um like really often maybe at least once a week or something just to hang out with her and just to see what's going on with her and her husband and so um we i thought that maybe this would be perfect for you know other guests that other than just myself and my husband and then you know her other kids to uh show up and then that way she can use them or not she can just use them for something for a craft project but i thought these were so cute it is a set of four coasters and then it says 5.99 on there and uh, f uh ironically i was like this is a ross label i got this at home goods and then the stuff that came with this was in a tj maxx bag so i just thought that was really funny and so the next gift that i got her at home goods was a spoon rest and look look how cute these little bees are <laughs> and then right here is a ross label also and it says 3.99 on there and so my my uh my mother-in-law cooks a lot like she cooks constantly 
and she always leaves a mess everywhere especially when she has to set down something real quick just to go you know uh pay attention to whatever her husband is doing and then sometimes she'll leave a mess and and uh and she always has to clean up everything immediately because if not it's going to settle real quick where she is at and so I thought that maybe the spoon was, spoon wrist would be perfect for that. Or if not, she could just use it for some sort of other craft project, you know? And um, it didn't really matter. I was just like, oh, there's bees. She's been obsessive with bees. You know, let's get this for her. And so my husband was like, yeah, let's go get this for her. And so, and then the final gift that we thought that would be perfect for her, because she says, like, she's been wanting to paint a lot more ceramic stuff but then she's still trying to look for the time to do any of this on top of like her other hobbies that she has and so i got her um the paint your own stepping stone from dollar tree because like it immediately like whenever she and i go to like dollar tree just to go shopping we always go to the plus size section just to see what they have and she really liked the the little clownfish that was on here and so i thought that maybe she'll want it and so i asked her like hey do you really want this and she's like yeah you can give this to me for my birthday and i was like all right cool so then i got her two of them and so i thought okay that's just gonna be a little bit of a part of her birthday and stuff uh and stuff like that so i just hope she'll be able to enjoy it along with the other gifts that we have in plan with her and so there you go that's like my little section for for gift side now i can tell you uh like, or i can show you guys like what i had in mind for future craft videos that I want to do on this channel and so let me show you what I got and and it's like all in this um dollar, big dollar tree bag right here so like hopefully I'll be able to put that in frame or if not I'm sorry and so I'm gonna show you guys this real quick which I usually um I don't work with a lot of wire wreaths or wreath forms but I thought this was really cute to uh to do hopefully I can get it out of the bag which is this it's a beehive yeah it says beehive wreath form if you can see the the little thing and then there's the little um barcode you can scan it and stuff like that um a lot of people usually can't find these in stores for some reason like this was like a brand new um item that came to dollar tree uh just last week or just this month entirely and like the usual dollar trees that my mother and i go to we go to the one in rockwall rowlett uh, sometimes in Garland, we go to the one in Wiley, and um, you know, so here in my hometown also. And so I thought, well, hopefully we'll find these soon, especially a lot of bee items since you know bees are very popular this year, again. And so, um, so, so when we found this, I was like, yeah, I gotta go get me one. And the inspiration that I had with this one was I was gonna use uh, like the chunky yarn. Like I don't know if you can see it right here, probably not, but. There, this is like um, like a square form of a pumpkin that I made and it was from like a pack of like uh, it was like a little hanger thingy that came with like a six packs of socks with it and so all I did was just wrap it around in the, like in this chunky yarn and so what I thought was I'm gonna use the same brand of that yarn from right here to to do this with but it's gonna be in a mustardy brownie yellow type of color just to make it look like an actual like you know beehive so hopefully in the near future i'll show you guys how um you know like how i'm gonna make that and maybe it'll inspire you guys just to make one and hopefully uh keep it in your home or something but i wanted to uh, i wanted to like challenge myself also to see what other craft projects i'm able to do and so i thought maybe the wire wreath forms would be part of it so there you go so let me go toss this on the floor <laughs> And then I bought another um, beehive where I thought this was really cute. Um, and a lot of people called it the love bug wreath form. But honestly, this is just a, a bee. I don't know if I could put this all in frame. Probably not. <laughs> you can see my baby daddy down here. <laughs> just sorry. Um, but yeah, it is a bee wreath form. I don't know if I could show that right there. Yeah, there you go. Bee wreath form. And then there's the, the little... Uh, you know barcode that comes with it um but when i saw this like in one of the dollar tree uh trips that i usually go to i was like yeah i'm taking one with me like my mother-in-law likes to grab two or three at a time and i was just like no i'm just gonna grab one but what i had an inspiration was to actually like you know actually make a bee out of it instead of like a like a love bug like everybody else has been talking about and so i thought well hopefully also, I'll be able to do a, a future craft project video with you guys on me making this. And of course, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this with yarn or with some fabric because I have 
plenty of fabric to work on it so we'll see i'm gonna toss that on the floor um the next thing that i got from dollar tree was these set of stickers and they're like a little bit re reflective and what i thought about um you know to make these with was like basically nothing what i wanted to do was um decorate my home a little bit more like um in my cabinets in my kitchen like i have like random wall stickers on there like i have things of llamas cactus like cacti sorry and uh flowers some inspirational quotes and i so i thought that maybe these will be perfect on there because like i am obsessive with butterflies i know you don't guys see it but like on this wall right here like right next to where the hanger is i have a wall of blue butterflies and um and I'm, I'm obsessive with blue butterflies. I always have been since I was a kid. And so I just thought that maybe these were like perfect for the home decor for my, for my kitchen. So I was just like, you know what? I might as well do that. So then I'm going to be putting these hopefully soon. <laughs> for now, I'm like, I got to go concentrate on doing some other chores. Like I almost didn't want to do this video, you guys, because like it's already late in the day. And plus I had to do a lot of chores and, and I'm still trying to keep up with chores. So <laughs> The next thing that I got from uh, Dollar Tree, well, I just thought this was so cute. Like I said, it, this was like in the one in rock wall that we found. It is, uh, well, uh, on the label, it says embossed galvanized plaque, and there's a barcode on there. But it's, uh, you know, a metallic mushroom. And then, you know, here's the, the label that comes with it. And then here's the barcode for it. Um... My husband and I, we like mushrooms. Like, um, I my like in my home, especially in the dining room area, or like when you're about to enter my home, I have these um like wall borders. It's like made out of paper, and it has like I think pumpkins and mushrooms on there. And I thought that was the cutest thing ever. Like I like so far every year since I've been going to a certain store, which is called Dirt Cheap, and it's uh, located in Garland. Um, I always find these wall borders and I'm always like wanting to grab like handfuls of them because like the designs are so cute and uh, and I thought that maybe like I'll be able to do like a mushroom theme type of kitchen one day or if not like home decor if not I'll just make a wall in in this small room just full of uh, mushrooms and then that way you know I'll be able to show you guys in the near future but for the meantime uh, this is gonna stay as like um in the wall hopefully it may it might be painted who knows but like i did got this for my husband to see if he actually wanted to paint it or not just leave it like this and then um just look at it i guess because he really likes mushrooms like i do <laughs> sorry about that and so the next thing that i got which is um this and what it is is a pen holder and here's the barcode on it um i got three of them and I'm going to be putting the link down below and it's going to be an inspiration project that I want to do in, um, in the near future. And it was from Amazon. And what it is exactly like, I should just show you guys. It's just three of them. I, um, I want, I was thinking about doing like a utensil holder, you know, like each one will be like for a fork or a spoon and a knife. And I wanted to paint them and then have them match with the next thing that I'm going to show you guys, which is a charger plate. And it's uh, silver co in color. And there you go. There's like the little, you know, label and the barcode on there. Um, my idea was like, I wanted to do like this uh, project on there. And I thought, okay, uh, let me do something like that. And hopefully my husband will like that. And I remember talking about it with him and he was like, yeah, you should do that because, uh, you know, we still have another month or so of winter here. And then back to like, you know, spring weather summer weather because it's going to get really hot immediately and so there'll be times where during these uh cold times like i'll never run the dishwasher or i won't um you know like wash dishes or anything it'll be too cold to do that or sometimes like pipes freeze up who knows and so um we thought that maybe it'll be a little bit more convenient to you know get some cutlery and some plates and stuff like that uh, at least disposable ones and so i thought that maybe like this will be perfect or the other idea that um that my husband and i came up with and hopefully i could be able to show it without these falling off of me or the the tray was we wanted to mount them somewhere on a wall right and so that way um we'll be able to like just you know um pull 
the fork, spoon, or knife that we need just to use as cutlery and then while we're eating dinner or something like that. And so I just thought that maybe that'd be a great idea. And he said it was going to be a great idea. And since like the, um, the charger plate itself, like I'm not sure if you're able to see it, you guys, but I could see it right here. But there's like a hole right here and then a hole right here. And I could I'd be able to like somehow punch it out. Maybe you try to cut it with an X-Acto knife or something sharper than that. I don't know. But I'll be able to put like, um, you know, nails or screws on there. And then that way I can have it mounted on the wall. So that way, you know, um, I'll be able to have access to, you know, your cutlery on the wall. And that way it will look really pretty. And so hopefully I'll be able to do that in a future craft project with you uh, guys. <laughs> And so the next thing that I got, which I was very surprised about, um, hopefully, where's the other one? Okay, um, I got these solar stakes, and I had no idea they sold something like this. And I collect solar stakes. Like I have, like somewhere in this corner of the room over here, you guys don't see it, but I have a pile of like solar stakes and pinwheels that I'm eventually going to leave out in my yard because um, where I live at there's only like one light post in in like a certain few feet away from each other in the neighborhood like I think we only got like two maybe and it does get pretty dark and uh whenever like we come home from like you know either shopping or just coming home from visiting his mom my husband and I we always have to pull out our flashlights from our phone for from our phones just to um go see where we are at and I thought that maybe the solar sticks would be perfect and um to light up our path from the driveway to uh around the garage that we are at and then to the ramp to to my home and so i just thought well this would be perfect for sure and but these were in the christmas section actually i was like i've never seen these before they look like you know like little lava lamps you know and then you know there's the solar uh panel on there and the little stake on the ground and stuff like that and so this one for some reason didn't come with it and so the lady had to scan this one and so there you go <laughs> I'll show you the label and the barcode. Hopefully it's in focus or if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> and so I thought that maybe, okay, well, I'll charge these up during the daytime and at nighttime. Hopefully it'll show like it's like a lava lamp feature in the middle of the steak. So I just thought that'd be really cool. And, and then that way I could start actually decorating my house outside, you know, or if not like on, on my porch area because I have so much uh decor items to to do and hopefully in the near future i'll be able to show you guys what i've been working on also and so the next thing that i'm going to be showing you guys is uh this container and it has like little you know latches on there to seal it up and uh and all it is is just called a storage container hopefully i'll be able to show the label <laughs> and the barcode um my inspiration for this one was like um i'm gonna I wanted to do something with like holding my dryer sheets in, in a container. Like um, I constantly move things around where's my laundry room at. And then sometimes the cardboard box that, um, that my dryer sheets comes in, they're always ripping all the time. And so I just thought, well, it would be a little bit more convenient for me just to like you know put them in here and that way i can just pull them out whenever i want just to go throw them in the dryer and then you know forget about it basically and so i'm not gonna do nothing different to it like i do have some rub on transfers or something like that that i could put like you know dryer sheets right here or any of the sides right here or if not on top of the lid so that way um you know that it would look cute and um the inspiration came from also on amazon and and even though that, that certain um, dryer sheet container is like, you know, it has a hole right here. Or if not, it's like a, you know, one of those latch lids that go that opens like that. Like a, you know, kind of like a treasure chest. And so um, I thought, well, this will be a lot easier for me because usually I'm in, I just want to like get laundry over with and stuff like that. And so I thought, well, it's only going to be, you know, it's not going to have the latches on there. All I'm just going to do is open it up, pull out the, the dryer sheets throw them in the in the dryer and then just just start the load right there and so yeah maybe maybe i'll be able to show you guys like how i did it or if not i'll just show you the finished product and then i'll just tell you guys how um how i worked on it so so there you go and um the next thing that i found 
was this sign but i kind of like wanted to change my mind about this because it came from the inspiration from uh from amazon which i was gonna do you know with these and um but it was gonna be like a little bit of a smaller version of it and stuff and so i thought that maybe the this sign was relax your home what i was gonna do is um make it like a tray you know kind of like i'm gonna paint it the same color as the silver tray that i have down here and you know have um sort of similar type of like utensil holders or like this just to like place them in there and i noticed that they don't really fit in there like i don't know if you guys can see it but they they'll probably be a little bit snug in there which i wouldn't mind because it's not like i'm gonna pull them out every time to clean them or something um but they, they, they seem too big for this. And so I thought that maybe I could find a different type of pencil holder. And then thanks to my mother-in-law, she gave me um, those wired pencil holders that people have been, like, finding them in Dollar Tree. Like, I have seen um, a lot of crafters, especially on Facebook, that um, use them for candle holders or make them into candle holders. And I was like... I can do that you know like maybe i'll be able to do that in a future video with you guys but i wanted to do that for for the also utensil holder for like for my fork spoons and knives but since i found the charger and this i was like i don't i really don't need this anymore and so i thought that maybe i could be able to do something for the bathroom like maybe i'll do something like that where i could put um you know maybe like q-tips in there or uh, the toothbrushes and and all that like I don't know something bathroom theme so that way I can do that so maybe I will still do that for a future project video who knows and so uh the next item that I wanted to show you guys or actually the last few items in here they're basically the same thing but just looking different all right Mr. Bag get on the floor you're kind of like <laughs> there you go I tossed it on the floor and what it is are wood slices i would say like i'll just show you guys like all together like this and then i'll show you individually like these ones are um like rounded pieces and it's called a wood slice on there and here's a little barcode on there and the label on it i saw a, like a uh, like a little you know like a little clip or a photo i would say mainly that but then they showed a little clip in the end also of this video that I saw that um, somebody made a wooden tree. And I was like, that is so cute. I wanted to make something like that. I don't know why, but I wanted to. So that way I'll be able to have like a little small tree somewhere around here. Cause um, you know, as you can see, there's a tree behind me. That one's made out of rag, uh, rag uh, materials. Like this came from a rag rug from Five Below. And all I did was I got a tomato cage with some wire and some uh, cotton rope. And then tied all the pieces on there and I just, you know, I went circles and circles with this uh, uh, rag pieces with the rope and eventually made a tree. And I have another one. If, if you've seen my previous videos, there is another one and that one's like pumpkin theme. And of course, this one is too, but I change out like the tree toppers every time. But I really like pumpkin so far, so I'm like, I'm not going to change it for the meantime. And so I wanted to have like a little mini tree or something like that and so I thought that maybe these slices would be perfect for kind of like putting the spacing in between kind of like um the look of a pine tree or branches so I just thought that was really cute and then um this one I was going to use some sort of kind of like a a bark tree or if not I'll use some wine corks for him because I do have some like I have like um I have like a big uh bucket full of them like I don't know I'll just probably have to show you guys uh some other time I don't know where it's at probably it's like somewhere under my 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 stuff down here but like I saw these like little kind of like little wooden dowels you know and so this is what the label looks like and then this is the barcode for it and I was gonna like actually use them for like just to to do the the bark of the tree and maybe maybe I'll just change my mind who knows like but either way these are perfect um for, for a crafter for myself since I'm always like using wooden dowels for a, a bunch of projects and then finally um is these wooden biscuits <laughs> I saw somebody in one of the crafting pages that I follow that they use these wooden biscuits and then they actually make a tree out of it and I just thought that is just really cute like I don't know like 
I thought that was really cute, but then I was thinking about using them for uh, maybe like a formation of a pumpkin or something like that because honestly, I'm obsessive with pumpkins. <laughs> And, um, and I have seen people actually use them to do like butterfly wings or like, um, dragonfly wings or something like that. And I thought that would be really cute to do. And maybe I could do that in the near future. So there you go, everybody. That's, that's my shopping finds from last week. And, um, who knows what I'm going to do for next week's video, honestly. Like I was going to do another, um, uh, playlist story, you know, video, but um if it doesn't get too cold for tomorrow i might actually go on a shopping trip with my mother-in-law or if not i'll just wait till the weekend just to go out and see uh what i can find out there and then i'll show you guys in a and hopefully like in a future video <laughs> and so anyway uh, i'm just gonna end the video here hopefully you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week and i'll see you guys uh hopefully in next week in next week's video hopefully i'll have something in mind all right bye everyone